Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And I'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. And we're very, very grateful. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Um, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Fanny and Jesse, And Facebook as well, Fanny and Jesse. And just feel free to interact with us. And we'll be more than glad right back to you guys don't feel shy just say hi and we'll say hi back to you so like i said a big shout out to the person that suggested this i love reacting to this guy but i don't know his name today i'm going to be reacting to how to love muhammad spoken well so without wasting time let's get into the video i loved you but never met you i know everything about you I researched you. I looked into books to find out more about you. I googled your name online. And searched small and big libraries for books about you. Because they told me that you loved me. But I'm confused because we never met. How can you love someone you've never met? They told me that you conquered the Romans for me. And sent your best men to Persia for me. You bled. You fought. You walked barefooted. You were sworn at, insulted, called crazy and insane. You endured all of this for me. And how can I not love you? Even though we haven't met. And I told them that I dream every night. And wish every day. That one day. Even for a fraction of a second. That my eyes could meet yours. And that my hands could shake yours. And that you let me drink from your river. I read about your beauty. I heard about how you were offered wealth, status and women. But you declined them for me. I heard that they sent the children to throw stones at you. But you replied with patience and prayer. I heard that they boycotted you for three years. Took your home. And drove you out of your birthplace. The most beloved place to your heart. But that wasn't enough. So after you left secretly at night, they sent their best men to track you down and bring you back to kill your dream from me. But God protected you with a pigeon and a spider's web. And when you arrived to safety, you stood all night crying and praying for me until tears dripped from your beard, just like water drips from a leaking tap. All this made you stronger and more determined to reach me. Years later, they sent an army of a thousand men to fight you. You stood with three hundred men and one. Then they formed a bigger army. And came back to finish you. But they couldn't. Their hate for you only increased. But your love for me grew even more. Then they formed allies against you. And betrayed you. And denied you the right to return to your homeland. And undermined you in their deals. But because of your love for peace. Because of your love for virtue. Because of your love for me. You accepted their terms. And agreed to their conditions. People say Romeo and Juliet is the greatest love story of all. I said to them. How can that be? When the man I loved did all that for me. When the man I love sacrificed his life for me. The man I love gave everything he had for me. The man I love sent armies to the east and the west so that I can be. The man I love showed me purpose in what I do. I know that he is my prophet, I am proud to say. He gave me confidence in the right way. To me, he was a perfect leader, father, warrior, carer and friend. The message of peace, love and justice he would send. To every man, woman and child in this world and to every creation in the universe too. I remind you that when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was granted his supplication from Allah and when he could have used it for himself he saved it for his ummah, he saved it for you. I now know why I love him more than I love myself. I now know why I love him more than I love myself. 
I now know why I love him more than I love myself. I now know why I love him more than I love myself. I now know why I love him more than I love myself. Really, really love this um, recitation and the way they composed the entire thing had me thinking of how people in the past have actually fought for, your free, for our freedom, not just your freedom, for our freedom in different parts of the world. How many people have sacrificed so that today you can sit comfortable somewhere. They paved the way. This is, I think I reacted to something last week. Is it last week? Or the previous week talking about um, not just sitting around and letting people oppress you or something like that. While today we're enjoying this freedom, someone else was being was sacrificing themselves so that we can be in this position. Someone out there was doing something about what they were doing so that you can know that there was some powerful movement started years before you were even born so that you can be in this very place that you're in right now. It is we should learn from these events that have actually taken um that actually took part and we can also make it a better place for the next generation i think i said that in my previous video let me know what you guys think about this spoken word your comments are always welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video Thank you.